안녕하십니까? 2021학년도 3월 고3 전국연합학력평가 영어영역 듣기평가 안내방송입니다. 잠시 후 2021학년도 3월 고3 전국연합학력평가 3교시 영어영역 듣기평가 방송을 시작하겠습니다. 수험생 여러분은 편안한 마음으로 방송에 귀를 기울여 주시고 방송 담당 선생님께서는 스피커의 음량을 알맞게 조절해 주십시오. 수험생 여러분은 답안을 작성하기 전에 반드시 답안지 왼쪽 해당 란에 성명, 수험번호 등을 정확하게 기입하고 표기하였는지 확인하시기 바랍니다. 답란에 정답을 표기하기 전에 답안지에 있는 수험생 준수사항을 꼭 확인하십시오. 듣기평가 문제는 1번부터 17번까지입니다. 방송을 잘 듣고 문제지에 있는 다섯 개의 답지 중에서 맞는 답 하나만 골라 답안지에 해당란에 바르게 표기하십시오. 듣기평가는 파종 없이 시작됩니다. 이제 문제지 표지를 넘기시기 바랍니다. 그러면 지금부터 3교시 영어 영역 듣기평가를 시작하겠습니다. 1번부터 17번까지는 듣고 답하는 문제입니다. 1번부터 15번까지는 한 번만 들려주고 16번부터 17번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 방송을 잘 듣고 답을 하시기 바랍니다. 1번 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, residents. This is Andy from the management office. We're currently collecting recyclable garbage twice a week on Wednesdays and Sundays from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. But we've had a lot of complaints from residents concerning the time, location, and smell. We're doing our best to address these complaints, but it's been difficult to come up with satisfactory solutions. So, to deal with this matter effectively, We are going to hold a public hearing at the community hall on Friday, March 26th at 8 p.m. We're asking everyone to attend the public hearing. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. 2번 대화를 듣고 여자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Eric, I made this pizza myself. Try some. Thank you, Eugen. Mmm, it's delicious. Is it? I watched a cooking video and followed the recipe from it. You're a really good cook. Not everyone can just watch a video. and make delicious food like you just did. Well, I think it's all thanks to the cooking tools I've recently bought. Cooking tools? You mean utensils? Yes. Having the right utensils makes cooking much easier. You seem to be very happy with your utensils. Yeah. They make cooking more enjoyable. Oh. That's why you're totally into cooking these days. Definitely. Now I understand why chefs emphasize the importance of using the right utensils in cooking. 3번 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Hi, Sophia. What did you do with the bouquet you made last Friday? Hi, Brandon. I had it delivered to my friend. She was really happy to get it. Did you tell her you made it yourself? Yes. I also told her that I made it in your class. She said she'd like to learn from you, too. I'm glad to hear that. Why don't you invite her to join my class sometime? Yeah, I suggested signing up for the next one-day class together. Good. You will get to spend quality time together. 
I think so too. I'll let her know how to register. Thank you. Today you'll learn how to arrange spring flowers in a vase. Look here. I've made this one in advance. Wow! It looks gorgeous. I can't wait to make one myself. Okay. Shall we get started? Seven, 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Rachel, I heard you adopted a puppy. Yes, his name is Coco. I've rearranged the living room for him. Take a look at this picture. Let's see. Oh, this must be Coco. He's playing with a ball. Yes, it's his favorite toy. I see. Is this striped tent for Coco? Yeah, I bought it for him last week. It looks cozy. You also put the steps in front of the sofa. What are they for? They're pet steps to help Coco get on the sofa. Ah, he can't jump onto it yet. Hey, Rachel, what's this elephant toy on the sofa? It's another toy for Coco. Well, is he being toilet trained? Yes, he is. Do you see the two pads near the potted plant? I'm using them for his toilet training. Good. Everything seems to be perfect for Coco. Oban, 대화를 듣고. 여자가 남자를 위해 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, Ms. Clark. Mr. Dixon, where are you? The student soccer final starts in 30 minutes. I'm on the playing field, checking the ground conditions. Well, I just made an announcement to the students about the match. Thank you. I've already set up cameras to film the match. Okay. How about extra batteries? Do you have them? I checked. They're in the camera bag. What about the first aid kit? We might need it during the game. The school nurse will bring it before the game. I see. Did you bring the ice water for players to drink? Oh, I forgot. Could you bring it for me? It's in the fridge. Okay, I'll take it to the field right away. Thanks. Yukban, 대화를 듣고 남자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Welcome to Joe's Fragrance. How may I help you? Hello. I want to buy a bottle of Wild Silver Bell for my sister's birthday. I see. It's a very popular perfume these days. My sister really loves its scent. How much is it? This small bottle is eighty dollars, and that larger one is one hundred dollars. I'll take the larger one. Okay. We also sell candles with the same scent for fifty dollars each. Oh. My sister really likes scented candles. I'll take a candle too. Great. Since you're buying two items, you also get a ten percent discount voucher. You can use it for your next purchase. I see. Could you wrap them up, please? Sure. Gift wrapping is free, but we can tie a ribbon on it for an extra dollar. I don't need a ribbon. Just gift wrap them, please. Here's my credit card. Seven. 번 대화를 듣고 여자가 다른 주문처를 찾고 있는 이유를 고르시오. Ms. White, what are you doing on the internet? Oh, Mr. Brown, I'm looking for a store to order some file folders for my class. Oh, 
I thought you already ordered them, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I thought I had found the right store, but now I changed my mind. Did you find a store that offers lower prices? No. The store I found was the cheapest and even had free delivery. Then were the file folders sold out? No, they have plenty in stock. If so, why are you still searching for another store? Because their scheduled delivery will take too long. I need the folders tomorrow. I see. So you're looking for a store with faster delivery, right? Yes. The sooner the better. Palbon. Tewari Dikko. Telizia Guane. Ongup Dizi Aningos. Ilkorushia. Hello, viewers. I'm currently at one of the popular restaurants, Delizia. I'm here with the manager of Delizia. Hi, viewers. I'm Laura, the manager of Delizia. Laura, Delizia is the oldest Italian restaurant in our city, isn't it? Yes, it was founded in 1906. Wow! Could you tell us who founded it? Fabio Cannavaro. Today, his granddaughter runs it. Oh, it's a family business. Tell us more about Delizia. Our restaurant is famous not only for its food, but also for its architectural value. I see. I know Delizia was used as a location for some famous movies. Right. The movie From Rome with Love was recently filmed in our restaurant. Impressive. And Delizia has a very romantic outdoor garden, doesn't it? Yeah, it's often used for weddings. That's good. Now, could you show me around the garden? Sure. Come this way, please. Coupon. Master Cave Boat Tour에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hello, listeners. Are you looking for a special activity for the upcoming holidays? Nest Cave Boat Tour is here for you. You can explore the cave on a one-hour guided boat tour. Up to ten people are allowed on each boat. Along the way, you can hear about the history and geological features of the cave. You can even see glowworms deep inside. But taking photos is not permitted inside the cave. With your cameras off, just enjoy the mysterious light from the glowworms. For this wonderful cave tour, you need to make a reservation in advance. For reservation, please visit our website. Thank you. 10번. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 주문할 사다리를 고르시오. Honey, what are you looking at on the computer? I'm looking for a stepladder. We need one for when we do housework. Good idea. Let me see. All of these five ladders look good. Yes, but let's exclude this one. It's too much to spend over $100. For just a ladder. I agree. What about the height? Considering our house, it should be at least 120 centimeters. Okay. I think the weight a ladder can support is also important. Oh, definitely. It should be able to hold more than 100 kilograms. Right. Then we only have two options now. Yes. Wouldn't it be better to buy a ladder that can fold? Of course. It'll take up less storage space. I agree. Let's order it now. 
11번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Excuse me, can you tell me how I can get to Harriet Department Store? Sure. Go straight ahead until you find exit 5. Thank you. Is the department store close to exit 5? Hi, Mom. I'm home. Oh, you're back from your baseball practice early today. Yeah. While I was waiting at the bus stop, Daniel's mom drove by and gave me a ride. 13번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. What's the tune you're humming, Kevin? Ah, it's a song I sang in choir last week. I didn't know you were in a choir. It's just a small choir. We meet every Wednesday night and sing together. What kind of songs does the choir sing? A real mix, actually. We do classical, jazz, pretty much anything you can think of. That sounds fun. You seem interested. How about joining our choir? Well, I love music, but I'm not a good singer. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you enjoy what you're doing. Then I guess I'll give it a try. 14번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi Lucas, how is it going? Not bad, Sarah. Do you have any special plans for this weekend? Yes, I'm going to visit my grandparents' farm. They're short-handed, especially at harvest time. You mean you're going to do some farm work? That's right. What are you doing there? Well, I'm going to pick apples. If we don't pick them in time, we won't get a good price for them. I see. I want to have a chance to pick apples. Really? Why don't you come along with me this weekend? I've never done any farm work, but I'd love to. 15번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 카트리나가 사이먼에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Katrina and Simon are close friends in the neighborhood. Recently, they enjoy riding bicycles together. But Katrina often notices Simon's careless behavior while riding a bicycle. Although he is good at riding, there are some occasions where he almost falls over because he sometimes rides with his hands off the handlebars. Furthermore, he often uses his smartphone while riding. Katrina is worried that such behavior may lead to a serious accident. So Katrina wants to give Simon some safety advice. In this situation, what would Katrina most likely say to Simon? 16번부터 17번은 두번 들려줍니다. 16번과 17번, 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Okay, students. We just talked about idiomatic expressions related to color. As you know, idioms are creative descriptions. 
We use them to share an idea or feeling. Now let's learn some animal idioms in English. The first idiom is at a snail's pace, which means moving very slowly. This idiom is easy to understand because we all know how slowly snails move. The next one, hold your horses, is a common way of telling someone to wait or slow down. If someone says, "Hold your horses," they're telling you to wait a minute. And children often hear from their parents, "I'm watching you like a hawk." This expression is often used to make sure that someone doesn't misbehave or make a mistake. The last idiom is "I'll be a monkey's uncle." People use this expression when something unexpected or unlikely happens. It's used in a comical way. These idioms may be confusing at first, but once you learn them. You'll have a fun new way of talking. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Okay, students. We just talked about idiomatic expressions related to color. As you know, idioms are creative descriptions. We use them to share an idea or feeling. Now let's learn some animal idioms in English. The first idiom is at a snail's pace. Which means moving very slowly. This idiom is easy to understand because we all know how slowly snails move. The next one, "Hold your horses," is a common way of telling someone to wait or slow down. If someone says, "Hold your horses," they're telling you to wait a minute. And children often hear from their parents. I'm watching you like a hawk. This expression is often used to make sure that someone doesn't misbehave or make a mistake. The last idiom is "I'll be a monkey's uncle." People use this expression when something unexpected or unlikely happens. It's used in a comical way. These idioms may be confusing at first. But once you learn them, you'll have a fun new way of talking. 십육 번 여자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은 십칠 번 언급된 동물이 아닌 것은 이제 듣기 문제가 끝났습니다. 18번부터는 문제지의 지시에 따라 답을 하시기 바랍니다.